Hi Sagittarius, Trishna here. Welcome to your February 2020 love reading. So what I'm feeling for you from an intuitive perspective, Sagittarius, is I feel like this month you're going to be a little bit stressed with regards to your relationship. Now you and your partner I think are doing fine together. I think the relationship is healthy and there's a lot of love there. But I feel like maybe there's something that you're working on with your partner or maybe some plans or goals that you have that you want to include your partner in. And there's just a lot going on with regards to things you want to do, things you want to achieve, a vision that maybe you have for your partnership, and that is what is stressing you out. It's like there's a lot of things that you want to do or a lot of things that are going on, and you're stressed about how to make all of that happen. You're stressed about how to do things in the right order. What's the right sequence? How do I move this along? How do I move us forward? So I feel like your stress is in that realm. So it's not really, you're not stressed about your partner. You're stressed about the things that you want to achieve with your partner or the next step that you want to take your partner with you on. And I feel like you are trying to keep your partner out of this. Like you don't want to put your stress on them. You don't want to stress them out. You don't want to make them feel like they're causing your stress. And I think that that is really nice, Sagittarius, but I think that also you need to remember that you're not in this alone and whatever goals you want to achieve with your partner, they're going to get achieved. I feel like you have a lot of goals though, like a lot that you put on your plate with regards to your relationship and it's it is a lot and there's only so much that can be achieved in the next three months so just know that the ones that really matter like right now are the ones that are going to get achieved and the ones that don't get achieved i feel are smaller goals and they can be done later on so things are going to materialize just keep plotting along know that your partner wants to be a part of this i feel like Whatever it is that is stressing you out, I feel like your partner is already involved in it with you and most of your stress is really internally created. But remember, the two of you are doing this together. You're not in this alone. You're not having to achieve this vision by yourself. Your partner is right there with you. And that's all that you really need to know to kind of help you through that stress. And things are going to materialize, Sagittarius. Just know that it is going to take a little bit of time. And of course, there is the planning and sequencing that you're worried about, but it's going to get worked out. Like... It's not just you trying to figure this out. There's two minds involved here and the two of you work really well together. So everything is going to get figured out. It's all going to be good. Let things fall in place as they will. You just try to move things forward. Your partner will do the same. They're right there with you like I was saying. And things will fall into place as they need to as time progresses. So don't worry about factors that aren't even a part of the picture right now. Like you may be worrying about well, what if this happens or what if this happens? There's a lot of things that aren't, like, wait, like, you're worrying about things that aren't really a factor at this point in time. Don't, like, just proceed as if they don't exist. Like, don't, don't create all these contingency plans when you don't really need to, at least not at this point in time. If they're needed, they will come up and there will be a time for when that needs to be thought out and you and your partner will work through those contingency plans together. Things are going to work out. Yes, it may be a little stressful, but they are going to work out. All right, Sagittarius, that is all that I'm getting for you from an intuitive perspective because I guess things are going pretty well in your relationship. So it's really just managing your own internal stress. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards and we're going to do the tarot portion of this video. All right, Sagittarius, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the top six cards here, and then in the extended, we're going to talk about the bottom six cards here. And then we'll also pull additional cards and do the bottom of the deck. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups. So with the King of Swords, Sagittarius, I feel like this is talking about what we were covering in the intuitive portion of this video, where basically I feel like you're holding on to some kind of burden and you're holding on to it because you're holding on to it and you're trying to make things appear like you have everything under control and like everything's going to be okay. And you may be holding on to this burden in order to try to make things be okay and to keep things under your control because you're concerned that something that you may need a contingency plan or something is going to happen or you won't be able to achieve certain goals that you have for your relationship or a certain vision that you have. But in reality, Sagittarius, everything is actually going really well. Everything is fine. There isn't anything that you need to be worried about, at least not at this point in time. And you're kind of holding on to a burden for no reason because there's nothing in your vicinity at this point in time that requires you to be on guard or to 
have a contingency plan in place or to be planning for that or over strategizing in your life. So if something comes up, then sure, go ahead and make your plans, put things in place to make sure everything is okay. But at this point in time, I think it's really important that you relax and you just kind of enjoy the vision and the direction and taking those steps as much as possible. Now with the four swords, I do feel like there is somebody in your life who is maybe lurking in the background, who maybe doesn't really have the best intentions for you. I feel like this person is not imagined. I feel like they are real. And if it's not a person, that there is something that is lurking that is real, that I guess is a bit of a threat to you. And maybe that is what you're worried about. Maybe that's what you're trying to create contingency plans around. So I feel like this is not imagined. There is a real threat that is lurking. But I also feel like whoever this person is or whatever this threat is, they do not have as much power in the situation as you think that they do. They can't really affect your life as much as you think that they can. And I feel like you might disagree with me on that, Sagittarius maybe because of the nature of the situation, but remember that they're lurking in the background. They're not able to show up very clearly or very obviously as a threat. They're kind of in the background trying to plan their move. So they're having to go into hiding right now. And I feel like that's important for you to know because that displays how much power you actually have in the situation, how much strength you actually have in the set of circumstances. So yes, they are kind of a threatening person or it's a threatening situation and obviously they have some form of control or power in the situation but it's not as much as you think it's not as much as they may want you to think or as they may try to make you think because again they're the ones that are having to lurk in the background not you and that's like a lower position i guess in this set in the circumstance that you're in And I also feel like this person can be very emotional, if it's a person, and they can be a little bit rash. And I think that they're in this mode, like we were saying, where they're planning their next move. But because they're so emotional and because they are in the background having to lurk and you have more power in the situation, they don't really know when the right time to strike is. They're trying to plan it, but they don't know enough. They don't have as much power. They're kept in the dark. So they want to strike, but they don't know when that moment is. And they're an emotional person. So what's probably going to happen is they're going to end up striking at the wrong point in time. And it's either going to make them look bad or it's just not really going to have the effect that they want. And they're going to have to end up walking away with their tail between their legs. So some, that's something for you to be aware of is yes, There may be a threat, but they do not have as much power as you think that they do, and their emotions and their being kind of in the dark is going to cause them to strike at the wrong time and end up creating really no real issue for you and kind of more issues for themselves. With this Ace of Pentacles, so Ace of Pentacles is a really good card, and it tends to mean really like something really good really positive in your financial situation i feel like this applies more to your romantic situation so this is a love reading but sometimes in some of the signs like we'll end up talking more about their career because it's so closely tied to their relationship but in your case this does this is about your romantic situation your love situation and this doesn't mean that your career isn't going well it's just that your career probably is going well but this is just trying to talk more about your your love your romantic your partnership and I feel like it's going really well I feel like there's a lot of happiness there I feel like you sometimes hesitate allowing yourself to feel completely happy in the situation because you are worried about a lot of other factors and you don't want anything to go wrong you don't want anything to get messed up you don't want to be too happy because you're afraid that things will get mixed mess messed up or you might jinx it or you'll be too happy too soon you don't want to like you don't want to count your chickens before they've hatched kind of situation but there is a lot of happiness in your life Sagittarius in your love life as well as in your life overall and I think it's okay to be happy and I think there's a lot more happiness to come 
So you are dealing with something that is stressing you out, not just in your romantic situation, but like the contingency plan side of things. So that's there. We've talked about how there's a threat that's there, but I think that there's a lot of good things to come. So, so be optimistic about the future. <clears throat> if you're not optimistic about the near future, be optimistic about the longer term future. So if you're not optimistic about the next three months or something, be optimistic about the three months after that, like how things are going to look six months from now. With the Queen of Swords, I feel like this represents maybe an energy that you had or that you are now transitioning out of. And that's an energy of feeling like you're alone, feeling like you are distant or separate from everybody else, feeling like you're separate from other people, feeling maybe emotionally distant. I feel like that's how you've been. You've been feeling alone and you're now realizing that you can let go of that. That doesn't have to be how you feel. That doesn't have to be how you perceive things because, because things are different now or you're seeing things differently now. And you realize that I don't need to feel that way anymore. Like you're able to let go of a lot of the baggage that maybe you've been carrying around for a while. So that's really positive, Sagittarius. The Two of Cups is a wonderful card to have in a love reading. The Two of Cups, I feel, represents for you that you really have found your partner, your person, the one, somebody who really means a lot to you, somebody that you love very, very much. We talked about this in the last video, I believe, that you've you found the one. And I feel like your partner feels the same way. And I feel like the two of you get very lost in each other. So when the two of you are together, you get very into the moment, very lost in the moment, very enamored by each other. You look each other very deeply in the eyes and sometimes you can't break away from that. Like you're just so in love and so in the moment that you, the two of you can't even break eye contact. So there's like a lot of love in your relationship. And when the two of you are apart, I feel like you feel very connected to each other, very much in love with each other, very secure and safe with each other. At least one of you for sure feels very secure and safe with the other. The other person may feel that feel that as well, but maybe not quite to the same extent as the other person. But there is a lot of there is definitely a lot of love on both sides and a lot of being very, very, very deeply connected. Whether it's through like eye contact and just seeing each other's souls in the eyes or like not being able to break away contact or just being very connected very emotionally, very deeply, or very energetically, or very like to the soul level. So there's some kind of very deep connection that you really can't break away from. With this Five of Cups, I feel that this represents either you, Sagittarius, or it represents you and your partner. And I feel like this is where, if you want to take your relationship to the next level, this is a card that's telling you how to do that. So the Five of Cups tends to represent somebody who has good things going on in their life, in their situation, in their romance, but they they can only focus on what hasn't gone well. So they see all the all the there's gains and losses, but they they're only able to focus on the losses. They're the gains are there, but it's like they're so consumed by focusing on the losses and the spilt milk and what isn't working out or what is stressing them out. And so in so this is either just you Sagittarius or it's you and your partner. It it probably is you and your partner and the two of you kind of trade off where sometimes all you can really focus on is the things that aren't working out or the the ways things won't work out in the future while they're feeling really good. And then the two of you flip where suddenly like they can only focus on the things that aren't working out or the things that won't work out in the future and you're feeling really good. And that makes sense for a relationship because we're energetic matches with whoever we connect with, whether it's romantic or it's family or it's friends or it's colleagues. Like we're always a energetic match to those who, who are very much in our lives. That's why they're in our life is because we match each other on that energetic level. So it makes sense that the two of you would be experiencing this or like feeling these kinds of feelings even like and trading off on that. It's because you two match on that level. Now, to up-level your relationship, I think both of you can work on focusing on the positives in the relationships, in the relationship, focusing on what is working and ignoring the losses or the spilt milk. So flipping your vision, where right now you're focused more on the losses and not enough on the gains, and flipping that to focus more on the gains and less on the losses. 
And I feel like this is a way that the two of you can help each other out. Where when you notice that your partner is doing this, you say like, hey, like I know, I know this has happened, or I know that we went through this, or I know that this is a possibility, but like we have all these other really wonderful things and like let's emphasize those because those are the ones that really matter for us here in the now. Like and and help them focus on the positive and allow them to help you focus on the positive as well. And both of you should be working on this individually too. Whenever you catch yourself focusing more on the negatives and the positives, both of you should be trying to be like, hey, like that's an old old thought pattern. I want to up level my relationship. There's so much good that's in this relationship. Why am I focusing on like the one or two things that aren't? Like I should be focusing on the 10 things that are. Like how does that even make sense that I would spend most of my mental energy on the lower percentage of things? Like, like, like if it's 20%, I feel like that's high for your relationship. It's like 10%. Yeah, let's, let's go with 10%. 10% isn't really working out. Why are you focusing on 10% when 90% is working out? 90% is like significantly bigger percentage of your relationship. That's what you should be focusing on. So I feel like this is the way Sagittarius, if you want to up-level your relationship, this is how the two of you can do it because the two of you can work energetically on that and you will be a match at a higher energetic level than where you've been right now. And your relationship can get so much better. Like you think it's good right now, it can get so much better, Sagittarius, for both of you. You two could be so much happier together. Like, and you two feel wonderful right now. So just imagine feeling better. Like you probably can't, you're probably like, but everything's really great. But it could be so much better. Like, yeah, like you'd be like 10 times, 100 times better than how amazing it already is right now. So if you want to up level in your relationship, this is how to do it. So Sagittarius, I really enjoyed this reading because I know that you are dealing with some threat. I know that it's stressing you out. I know that there's a lot on your plate in your relationship with your partner, but you're not alone. The two of you are working on this together. The two of you have two minds together. Together, you guys are greater. So there's a lot of positives. Your life is going really well. If you can't be optimistic about the next three months, be optimistic about the next six months because things are only going to continue to get better. And yes, there is a threat and maybe that may cause a little bit of upheaval between now and then, but the threat is not going to truly materialize. It's not truly going to impact your life. It may cause like an upset, like I was saying, but that's really about it. You're moving away from this energy of being alone or like feeling like you're alone and feeling distant and your relationship is amazing. Like you and your partner are so connected and now you know how to up level in your relationship. So Sagittarius, this concludes the YouTube portion of this video. If you're interested in the extended, we will be talking about the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. And yeah, we got the King of Cups, which is a really good, uh, really good card for relationships. Really good. Ace of Wands, pretty positive. Eight of Cups, I think, is usually pretty positive as well. We'll read it intuitively. And the other ones, uh, King of Pentacles, we'll see. The other ones, it really depends more on the intuitive portion. So I'll go into that a lot more deeply, deeper, more deeply, more deeply <laughs> in the extended. So if you're interested in that, I will see you in that video. You can access it at www.patreon.com slash Trishna. The link is at the end of this video. It's also in the description box. If not, thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe, and I will see you in my next video on YouTube.